I do feel like growing up on the farm really did prepare me. So my strategy was to basically just kind of scream in my opponent's faces and kind of psych them out a little bit. The only reason I'm here is because I want a new record player. I hate everybody else here. Oh my god, they're so annoying. I want to use that money to help my TikTok grow. I am here to win the hearts of the human race. Honestly, it seems pretty easy. People don't really look that strong to me. Wow. Have you seen my biceps? I'm Francesca, you can call me Franny. I have over 3 million followers on Instagram. I need money to fund my super badass monster truck derby. We're Charlie and Louise. We can't really get out of this. We don't really want to be here, yeah. but we are. I'm Chella Louise. I think we changed my name because I love Charlie and Eloise. My name is Dave Torrest. I gotta say, I'm real excited to be here. Uh, everybody seems super cool and nice and fun, and I am just so ha so happy to to be to be selected. Hi, I'm Veronica, and this competition is going to be a hole in one for me. I needed to, I don't know, venture out of my little box that I'm in, and so I decided to sign up for a game show. I am here because uh, somebody canceled last minute for the show and they had an extra lighting person who is me. Hi, I'm Hope. I'm a big Taylor Swift enthusiast. Crawling is a lot harder than I remembered from being a baby. I'm used to working out in the woods, but normally there's a path. I'm scared of chicken. I am feeling somewhat confident. I got some practice. So I'm Lane Wiley. Um, I'm doing this to have like publicity for my podcast. Come on in, guys! Welcome to day six. Yeah, yeah. There we are. You are the final five contestants. Congratulations. I'm your host, Jeb Popes, here for Survivor. Here for last. All right, just a little check-in for you. Dave Tourist, how's it been going for you so far? So great. Great. Got some jinglers in here. Uh, I'm not too great at that basketball. Uh, I'm not really a sports guy. I'm more of a, you know, running down terrace type of guy. It's not really, I don't, I don't think my skills are going to carry over, but they might. They might. It's possible. Yesterday, uh, Demon Lord, you started a fire really quickly. Uh, how is, how are your hands feeling today? My hands feel as perfect as always. Excellent. And, uh, and Charlie. You're playing without your uh, partner in crime, Miss Eloise. She got out yesterday. How are you feeling about that? Um, trying to channel the energy. I'm really very sad. I'm sad. And Maddie, you've been a glutton for punishment. You've gotten injured in every single challenge. Yep. She's been injured in every single challenge. Uh, so, are you ready for today to get injured again? Yes. All yes. right, very good. Sacrificing it for the team. I just want to make it to the top three. So I just need to figure out a way to slide in there and make it. And Lauren, uh, I see that you are ready to go, as always, all business. Yep, hopefully. <laughs> Fantastic. So here we go. Today's challenge is a good old-fashioned game of knockout. But because this is last, we are going to be adding a little twist. We're going to be having our former contestants pelt them with water balloons. Water is difficult to handle, as you could see from my last challenge. Um, I don't feel very well about this game. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah. 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 Wore my all, swimsuit. all right, you wore your swimsuit. Very good, Dave you Tourist. Now, as always, you can be using your coins. A gold coin means that you can start anywhere you'd like. You can do a layup, you can do a dunk. I know you're pretty tall, Lauren, so she can probably dunk. 
I feel like my basketball skills are adequate enough to make it through, but I don't think they're great. A silver coin forces somebody for one round to start from the half court shot. We call that the million dollar shot, just like on Survivor. But this is last, so it's not for a million dollars. 50K though. And so the bronze coin is going to allow you to shoot from anywhere uh, uh, for one round only. The gold coin lasts for the entire game. Is anybody planning on using any coins? Ooh, four of you, all right. We'll just start down here. Maddie, what kind of coin do you want to use? I would like to use my gold coin for the game. It sounds good. Um, you know, I have trained in the gym. I've played a lot of basketball. I'm not the best, but I think I'll be better than some of my contestants. Charlie, would you like to use, which coin would you like to use? I would like to use my gold coin, gift to me by Colton. Well, me and Eloise actually did in, in the day. We had a traveling basketball concert. We play basketball and sing and all of those. And so, I mean, we're pretty prepared. We have a, we had, uh, what was his name? Some. Ron James or something train us, so I think I think we'll be good. Oh, okay. So the gold coin gifted by Colton. Thanks, Colton. We miss you. Dave. Hey there. I would like to use my gold coin for the game. I would like to use a silver coin against Demon Lord Lucian. In which round would you like to use the silver coin? Hmm. It's a good question. Do I have to make that decision now? No, you do not, but you need to make it before we start the round. Fantastic. And right. I would like to use this silver coin against Lauren. There are a lot of alliances going on possibly that I may not be aware of, or just something's up somebody's sleeve. Dave Tourist has officially used three coins in one challenge. This is a first. This is unprecedented for last. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Dave. And uh, Demon Lord Lucian, you'd like to use a coin? I will be using my gold coin. Jeb Popes is rich. I'm going to go on a seaside cruise with my good friend Jeff. And you know it's Jeff I'm talking about. Love ya. All right. Competitors, let's get to your marks. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. We're all set. As you can see, Lauren and Demon Lord Lucian have to start at the half court mark and the rest of them get to start there but shoot wherever they'd like. Survive, I mean, contestants, are you ready? This challenge is on. Maddie makes a bucket. Congratulations, Maddie. She's getting pelted by water balloons. Lauren, you do not have to shoot from the free throw line. You can shoot from wherever you'd like. All right, hand it to them. Uh-oh, hurry up, Demon Lord Lucian. She's getting pelted. Demon Lord Lucian makes it. Still in. Charlie, still out. Okay, Lauren is out. Sit, keep going, keep going. Oh, Charlie's on the chopping block. Charlie's out. Okay, Charlie set out because uh, we're on a limited budget here at last. If this were Survivor, we would have an unlimited budget, an unlimited amount of balloons, but it's not. Oh, Dave Tourist gets hit in the face by Demon Lord Lucian. Look at that, look at that strategy. Dave Tourist cannot make it. Oh, Demon Lord Lucian is out. Maddie, you're first, go ahead. Shoot from wherever you'd like. Uh-oh, Dave Tourist, no, misses. Maddie, you can get him out. No, no, Dave Tourist misses again. No, misses again. Maddie, oh, no, Dave Tourist with a cheap shot. And Maddie is out. Dave Tourist, come on over. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, I'm very proud of you. You won round one. Yes. That means that you get to be in the finals. That's good. Why don't you go have a seat on the bench and have a snack? I brought Hostess with the Mostess. Oh, I love you. I love, oh, I love you too, Dave. Man, I suck at basketball. That's okay. This is round two. This challenge is on. 
There goes Charlie. Oh, in and out, in and out. Maddie's just waiting, and I'm not sure what she's waiting on. She's supposed to be shooting, and she's not. Oh, she could get him out, but she's just waiting. I don't know what she's doing. Maddie must be throwing the challenge. She must not want Charlie out. There must be a dirty deal happening. Oh, no, Lauren Ball. Oh, that Lauren makes a shot. Demon Lord Lucian. Can Charlie get Demon Lord Lucian out? No, he cannot. Oh, Demon Lord Lucian got hit in the ear. All right. Oh, no, Maddie's out. Yes, Maddie is out, sorry. So their basketball skills are, oh, Demon Lord Lucian makes it. No, Lucian, oh. Oh, Charlie makes it, Charlie makes it. He's safe. Lauren's still there. Demon Lord Lucian can get Lauren out. Demon Lord Lucian can get Lauren out. And he does! Demon Lord Lucian uses witchcraft to get out. Uh, Lauren, this is the finals. Here we go. Charlie makes it. The ears of steel. No, Charlie misses. Demon Lord Lucian misses. Charlie makes it! That means that Charlie, Charlie, come on over. Oh, and Demon Lord Lucian has taken a spill. Uh, I think that we call that a flop. All right. Hey, congratulations. Thank I'm you. really proud of you. Thank You're you. in the finals. Thank you very much. All right. This is round three to determine the last spot in the finals. This challenge is on. Oh, Lauren has an air ball. She could be out right here, and she's not. Maddie misses, Maddie misses. And Maddie misses again. Lauren, whoa, wild shot. Lauren misses, and Lauren is out. Lauren is out. Now to determine the finals. Demon Lord Lucian, he makes it. Maddie also makes it. We're going back. Demon Lord Lucian has to shoot from wherever. And makes it. And Maddie misses. Demon Lord Lucian couldn't get Maddie out. No. Maddie, no. Demon Lord Lucian, Maddie's, oh, Maddie's good. Demon Lord Lucian. Makes it, Maddie makes it. All right, Demon Lord Lucian is in front. Wait for Demon Lord Lucian. Misses, Maddie, misses, Maddie makes it. Demon Lord Lucian is out uh, in the finals and Maddie is the top one. Come on over, Maddie. Congratulations, you have made the finals. Woo, yeah. Yeah, woo, you did really good. I'm really proud of you. All right, head on over, and we're gonna do the finals after this. Here we are at the championships. This will determine the gold, silver, and bronze coin. Contestants, are you ready? This challenge is on. Oh, Charlie, oh, he banks it. Oh, Maddie's getting just banked with, oh, she misses. She could be out. No, Dave Torres totally misses that. Dave Torres could get her out, and he does. Maddie is out. Oh, Dave Torres is just getting annihilated. Char oh, Charlie takes one to the hip. Dave Torres misses. Charlie, oh no, Dave Torres misses. Oh, Charlie takes one to the gullet. And I'm not sure. That yes, Dave Torres won the gold coin. Let's stop. Dave Tourist got his glasses knocked off. Let's bring him over to congratulate him on the gold coin. Dave Tourist, come on over. Now, Dave, Dave, you've taken a lot of abuse throughout last. You have uh, gotten hit in every single possible body part. Indeed. How, how you feeling? Uh, I was feeling good, and now I have water everywhere in my eyes. And it's great, because I just won. Well, I'll tell you what, because you are in the, the final round today, uh, I have a sweet treat for you that I will reveal next. Okay, can't wait. All right, your torch is safe. I mean, your life is safe. Awesome, love you. All right, love you too, Dave. All right, here we are at the Silver and Bronze Showdown. Challengers, are you ready? This Contest is on! All right, Maddie starts off, and an air ball, uh-oh! Can Charlie get her out? 
Can he do it? Yes, he can! And over, just like that. <laughs> Come on over, Charlie. Come on over, Maddie. I know. I know. All right, congratulations, Charlie. You got silver. Like congratulations, you. Maddie. You got bronze. <laughs> you guys excited for the creek run? Yeah. Very excited. All right, very good. I have a sweet treat for you for the creek run. I just can't wait to reveal right. that for you guys. Ready. All Ready. right, once you head over there, now it's time to determine who's last and whose torch may be snuffed. Uh, wait, I know. Okay, I'm just kidding. And uh, who is going to be sent home? Welcome back. And this is last. And this truly is going to be determining who's last and who's out. Contestants, are you ready? Balloon throwers, are you ready? Yeah! yeah! This contest is on. Oh, oh, and Lauren airballs. Can Demon Lord get her out? Demon Lord, no, is missing. Uh, Lauren misses as well. Oh, there's so much water happening. And Demon Lord misses. This could be it. Oh, Lauren makes it. So, so Lauren, you have to go back to the line. Demon Lord, oh, Demon Lord's getting pelted. This is to put out her fire. Oh, Lauren airballs. Demon Lord is having a heck of a time trying to make that ball in the hope. Oh, they keep missing. Will they make it? No, that is it! Demon Lord Lucian is now eliminated! Demon Lord Lucian, I am so sorry. Your torch has gone out. All right, welcome back. So, as you already know, we have our three coin winners. Maddie, you got bronze. Congratulations, Thank excellent you. basketball playing. Very good, all right. I know it looked like I messed up and hit the air ball, but it was on purpose. I want that bronze for the next challenge so that I can get the advantage because I already have a gold. So I'll be able to use both bronze and gold in the next obstacle. And Charlie, you got silver? Very good, I'll Special have more thing. prizes for you later. I was just thinking, go to get it in, go to get it in the hoop. You know, just whatever. And Dave Tourist, it's uh, kind of been a common theme here for Dave, winning this gold coin, so congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes, you're welcome. Love you. I also love you, Dave Tourist. Uh, you know, I had already secured a position uh, in the top three, and uh, I don't need any more coins, so it didn't really matter. Uh, it was just a lot of fun. Uh, I got hit with a water balloon in the head, my glasses fell off, and that was pretty funny. Like, it hurt a lot, I'm in pain. I'm holding back tears, but you know what? It was a whole, it was a hoot. Demon Lord Lucian, you're gonna have to bring me your torch. As you know, uh, because if you're such a great fire maker, fire represents your life. So please bring me your torch. I will relinquish to you my idol of truth. Ah, the idol of truth. And uh, this is Demon Lord Lucian's torch, as we say. And uh, as we say in, what? Oh, that's right. As we say in last, uh, when your uh, 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 torch or your what's what's uh, what's its name? That is Rohan Kishibe from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Rohan Kishibe is gone. So are you, Lucian, Demon Lord Lucian. We have enjoyed your presence. Congratulations, you are last. Yeah, Lucian. I was thinking of many strategies I use in my normal combat. They didn't work very well on the court. Demon Lord Lucian, as we say, when your anime figure's head pops off, so does yours. You are now out of the competition. It seems like this world is not ready for my presence. exciting and magical. A first here for last. We'll see you at the Creek Run after these. All right, we're back. Contestants, drop your buffs. Uh, hold on, hold on. Right, okay, so sorry about that, Jeff. Uh, that's the wrong game show, but you know, if you're looking for a replacement or a sub, you can always call me Jeb Popes. 
Yeah, that's my, that's my natural name. All right, welcome to the Creek Run, the last event before the finals. Give yourselves a round of applause for making it this far. Yeah. The four of you are gonna start at the same time and you're gonna run all the way down this creek. It's about a quarter mile run. Along the way, you should be find two things. One are Easter eggs filled with prizes for you. Want to know what you're playing for? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And some of them are candy. Yeah. But in the Heck yeah. Yeah, I but in candy. some of them are cash. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's right. right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm also the producer of this show, so I put my own money where my mouth is. And you can keep this cash uh, anything that you find along the way. If you pick up any Easter eggs filled with cash, that's 10 seconds off your time. Then, along the way, because we love the environment here at last, if you find any trash, that's five seconds off your time. And if you double it, 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, any questions about this? So you're gonna be timed, and we're gonna deduct any Easter eggs and trash that you have in those bags at the end. Uh, okay. I have Whoa. one thing to say. Yes, Lauren, what would you like to say? We've all made it thus far, and I'm really happy that this is like a good final four. I'm proud to be, you know, going against all of you. Dave, I especially want to say something to you. Even though, you know, we've all kind of used silver coins against you, you are a good competitor, and that's the reason why. Thank you so, very much. I'm proud of all of you, and no matter what the outcome is, let's just have fun. Awesome. Yeah. And, uh, just so everybody knows, we're doing this for John Johnson. John Johnson. Competitors, as always, we're going to have coins to use for this event. If you have a gold coin, you can use it to double the bonuses. If you use a silver coin, somebody has to stay with me uh, for one minute until they take off. So really, it's a minute deduction, but they're really going to have to sit here. So those Easter eggs and that trash will be gone by the time they get there. And the bronze coin allows you to start about 100 yards down there. While you might miss a few Easter eggs along the way, you'll have the advantage. So, would any of you like to use any coins? All of you. Okay, Lauren, since you had such words of wisdom, let's start with you. I would like to use a bronze coin. My strategy going into this is just to be as fast as I can, but also collect as much trash and as many eggs as I can see and quickly get to. You are going to start uh, down there when we get started. For you, Charlie. I would like to trade no problem. about this. I'd like to use a lot of here. I'd like to use two silver to get gold. I, I've seen a creek on the television before. I've never been in it. Uh, I believe there's one in our backyard somewhere. Okay, so Officially, Charlie is playing for gold. He's gonna double his rewards. All right, Charlie, very good. I'd like to play with a gold. I think American Ninja Warrior Champion did train me for this course. Um, I've been doing obstacle courses since I can remember and constantly moving around and really good at keeping a balance and running. So Maddie's gonna double up all of her points as well. Okay, so throughout this competition, I've stocked up on points. But we decided as a group that no silvers would be used during this competition in the playing field. So I'll be using a gold. And I will be holding on to my bronze because, uh, actually, no. I will be using my bronze as well. I know all the little its and bits. I know where all the good trash is. So I feel like I can use my resourcefulness uh, to, to get everything I need. I'm going to search for some eggs. It'll be, it'll be easy. It'll be good. All right, excellent, Dave Tourist. Using both gold and bronze. All right, so he's gonna start up there with Lauren and he's doubling up that. And just to remind you folks at home, this is the last time that they can use coins because at the finale, we're gonna even the playing field and whoever is last, those three last contestants are gonna be totally even Steven. All right, contestants, are you ready? Yes, yes sir. Let's get it started. It's gonna be close, but I have a feeling that this may be my last. Contestants ready? Yes. Contestants ready? Yes. You may begin. Yeah. 
excellent job of keeping the environment clean and finding those eggs. Let's go. Dave Torres is making sure he's cleaning up the environment. He's wrestling with a piece of a carburetor. She's got it. Carburetor in in check. Disgusting, but it went good. Okay, disgusting, but good. All right, Maddie, how did it go? It went pretty good. Did you clean up the environment and find your eggs? I did. All right, make sure you don't touch any of that. How did it go? Fantastic. All right, Dave Torres, cleaning up a lot. And yes, how did it go, I Lord? You. I love you. Okay. <laughs> it went great. I picked up a lot of trash. I got soaking wet yet again. All right, so we got soaking wet, we found Easter eggs, and we got garbage. Me and the judges are going to tally up all these scores. We'll be right back after this. We're back. That was a very exciting creek run. It actually exceeded my expectations. I know Jeff would be very proud of you guys for everything that you did, and I hope that he's proud of me uh, for everything that I did and sacrificed for this. So. Uh, in order to figure out who's going to be making the finals and going to be going on to our live finale, we need to tally the votes. Uh, that's... Okay, uh, this just in. Uh, we actually have all the votes tallied, a.k.a. we've counted up all of the trash and Easter eggs that you guys get. And because there is no coins uh, from here on out, I'm just going to announce first, second, and third. And then the person that is not announced, unfortunately, is going to be last. Okay? So are you guys all ready for this announcement? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, does anybody have anything else they want to say before I read your names and invite you to our live finale? It was a good run. It was a good run. It's good. Yeah. We made it. All right. Yeah. And, this is, and remember, this is for $50,000. So, in first place, with negative 24 seconds, Mr. Dave. Tourist! Ah, thank you. I love you. You're welcome. I love you too, Dave. Congratulations. You've made the finals. I'm really happy to have made it uh, through all the competitions. I'm going to get to do each one. If I win, if I lose, uh, it doesn't really matter as long as I've had a good time and I have uh, uh, completed my goal. And in second place, with 14 seconds, it is Charlie! Oh, okay. Congratulations, Best you've made second. the finals. Strategy was to go for the trash and go fast. Just So I knew I could go fast and I just went for all the trash. I knew I could get past everyone, so I just did that and I was as much trash as I could. And in third place, with 34 seconds, Miss Maddie Scheidler. Uh, so, uh, congratulations and no injuries. No injuries this time. Fantastic. My strategy running through the creek was to uh, look around and keep an eye out for everything while also trying to keep up speed and I was looking up at my competitors ahead of me and so I decided just to jump in the water and just go for it. So uh, Lauren, why don't you come join me over here? Uh, you have been an excellent competitor and uh, and we are so proud of you here at last but the tribe has spoken and so we're gonna have to say goodbye to you and we're gonna see you at the finale, as well as all of our contestants, as cheerleaders and spectators. So congratulations, Lauren. I couldn't be more proud of you in the game you played. Thank you. All right. So, Lauren, do you have any last words for all of our participants playing at home? Uh, it was a good run, a great experience, and I'm happy with how I did. And 
I'm proud of these guys. They deserve it. And so are we. Let's give Lauren one big round of applause. Head out that way. Oh, this is great. <laughs> All right, see ya. Bye. Bye, Lauren. See you on the other end of the creek. Okay, then. It's really sad that Lauren had to leave us. Obviously, it had to be one of us, but I'm just sad that anyone had to leave because we were all so close and bonded through this experience and kept moving forward with each other. And it's become less about the winning and more about the experience, and I can say without a doubt that it has been a good experience with these folks. The biggest thing that I learned from being on this show was just to have fun, Test your limits and push yourself, and you know, you may make it farther than you think. We'll see you at our live finale. And remember, you don't have to be first, you just can't be last. See you there. I have in my fanny pack a memo that has been delivered to me. I will read it for you now. This is from the U.S. Department of Justice, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Greetings, Agent David M. Tomina Scheidler. We at headquarters would like to extend our praise for your work so far in this investigation. You and your daughter, Maddie, have collected abundant evidence critical to the discovery of the identity of the individual currently trafficking contraband. This evidence had led us to the conclusion that this individual is, without a doubt, Charlie. We will have people there soon to assist you in making an arrest. Until then, please hold off on revealing your identity. Once again, great work. Good luck, Guy McMahon, Director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Charlie, I'll see you at the finale. I just wanna say, uh, I just wanna say thank you uh, this was an amazing experience uh, when Joe and Jack and I uh, were thinking about doing this and all the way through uh, the pandemic, I was like, I just want to hang out with kids and I just want to have fun and I just want to play games and I just want to do a project that is 100% fun all of the time. Um, and it was like 100% fun 90% of the time. And it was, no seriously, like 90% of the time I was having a great time. There was really only 10% of the time that it felt like work. My favorite moments are when when I see all of you growing in different ways. Um, and I see all of you becoming greater at the thing that you want to be greater at, which is being yourselves. Um, high school for me and for you and for everybody is about finding out who you are. So that way you can pursue what you love when you get older. So I want you to understand that like, you know, this is like doing film camp is n has nothing to do with uh, like resumes or anything like that. It's all about just discovering who you are, hopefully making friends and hopefully having a great time doing it.